Ladies and gentlemen, on the sinister day of February 24th, 2023, the new album by the Finnish melodic death metal band Insomnium titled Anno 1696 was released on Century Media Records. We've got over 50 minutes of epic blackened melodic death metal where intense metal riffs seasoned with great guitar leads are fused with folkish acoustic parts in the vein of Amorphis and Moonsorrow. The arrangements are made complete with various acoustic instruments and vocals, including cold heroic growls of the band's own singer and bassist Nilo Sevanian, more emotional and blasphemous growls of Saki Stolis from Rotting Christ on the track White Christ, because of course for the White Christ you need some Rotting Christ. Then there are clean vocals from the band's guitarists and female singing of Johanna Kurkela, wife of Nightwish's leader Thomas Holopining in the song God Forsaken. This is rich. When you sit down to listen to this album, you absolutely have to read the lyrics. They really work together with the music, making this a real sonic novel and justifying the generous duration of the songs. On the surface, it's a story of some werewolves, which I understand just as people that are different. They are placed in the environment of Finland during the Great Famine of 1696, when almost a third of the country's population died due to starvation, and witch hunts were widespread as people tried to find scapegoats for the bad harvest and other ill fortunes. Two of the songs are sung from the point of view of Christian prosecutors and inquisitors, White Christ and the Witch Hunter. Other songs deal with the relationship of the main werewolf character and his pregnant werewolf witch girlfriend, who gets shot, captured and burnt on the stake. I can't help but remember the song Fear the Grand Inquisitor by Pungent Stench, with its tragic guitar leads that get under my skin every time I listen to this song. Well, this Insomnium album did this too. How come? For one, the music is very emotional, and it gets even more emotional when you try to put yourself into the shoes of the characters. Take the soft acoustic song The Unrest, you lay by my side wide awake. When the child inside you moves and turns, you let out a disquiet sigh. Stay here in my arms, stay here forever. There is your lady and your child, the three of you in the middle of unrest, and you want them to stay with you forever. You want to be with them. Yet in times like this, in times like now, when witch hunters come to desatinize your land, when they hold you and your folks for less than human and thus unworthy of the gift of life, how can you hope that everything is going to be all right? Take the song The Witch Hunter. To great heights has the power of Satan risen in this country. The Antichrist is like a wolf on the prowl, hunting the weakest. I will chain this were-beast, I will shackle her kin, thou shalt not let the witch live. This is what they say, and they believe they are righteous, and they sow lead and rain fire upon people. This is their agroculture. Let me quote the song The Rapids. Everything she ever did, Every cut and every bite, every bit of blood spilled, everything was for her child. Righteous men who read the law, pious men who use the rod, they will never set her free. The stake and the fire await. Man, I don't know what to say. This album, this music teared me up. I hope you listen to it attentively. You read the lyrics and you will get it. 8 Romeos out of 10